Hi YouTube, welcome in. I'm Maddie Sun and today we're watching the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. I'm very excited to see Arlequino's kit and see where the story goes. Uh, we're getting yet another Ito event, so let's uh, see what happens. It has been millennia since the fall of Lemuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Ooh. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. This is some interesting lore. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land. I feel like I'm gonna need to rewatch this lore already. A splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special okay, program! Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at the trailer. I'm curious about the trailer. I'm wondering if the On trailer occasion, will connect to that story. we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They Father. enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. Sino? And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. Wow, we all we gathered around Sino and celebrated minute. the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort well, of that's project. A cool boss. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. Oh. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Interesting. Is she separating herself from the Fatui, perhaps? Also, wow, her Transfixed. kit. Hello? Everlasting at the moon. Hello? I'm just absorbing so much right An now. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who is this? Do you have Stop. any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very that person cool Father design. has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, if Father happening. finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino wow. was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. Whoa, who the is this? The wisdom of Anubis would have been ours. Who is this? We're mixing Fontaine with Sumeru lore. Of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not Who's saying I have the all the answers, king? but doing so will Lenny? only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. Who among us are willing to sit for a glass of tea? We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope she you decide like to take along. She looks like a spider up there. Oh my god. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, and no sacrifice shall be in vain. Oh my god. 
gosh, she's like, she looks like a black widow spider with the colors and the legs like kind of dun, dun, arcing dun, dun. like that. What? Hello, everyone. That I was insane. Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler. This is gonna be a good patch. Welcome to the I Genshin Impact tell. version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay, welcome everyone. Yay. Yay. Wow. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just you in case say. you need any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father, father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. Who is the Knave? I'm I so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member I of the House of the Hearth. I loved Linny's involvement yes, in the yes. story so far. Yeah. Linny's and great. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. Of course. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. <laughs> you can't go more hey, than buddy, a couple patches. On? My bros, Ido. my guys, my dudes. Dude. So good. <laughs> Max Middleman Are would be so to fun be here? to be vibes, friends vibes, with. Vibes, vibes for days. <laughs> vibes All for right, days. well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Erin, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Variety? Naturally, at the same time as it provides it a nice, home, though. the children also take on various responsibilities. Like, it's okay. nice. This she, sounds she's like, like everything doing a, that a we good already thing, know from the game. You know? uh, is there more she's news to hear? doing a good thing. Yes. Everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. Mm -hmm. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Yeah. Let's do it! Yes, let's do oh it! My okay, gosh. okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Faceted. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Not Fontaine or Archive bad. Class, I noticed that Arlequina was Chaotic really neutral. skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, True. but she was also incredibly intimidating. I'm excited to learn her <laughs> I mean, her backstory. remember how Farina pretended not oh, dude, to recognize her, her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from, mm. but... That's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> what is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and Except she Lenny. would never treat them harshly for she no reason. She loves Lenny the most. Though, the kids he has feel a lot to of say that because he lessons, plays and Lenny. Are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age. You know? Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. See, that's, that's very the thing. Sharp I'm curious. Right, let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why do the children call her father? Dude, that's ah, that's well, real. If you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's her story God. quest, Ignis Purgatorius, oh will be released with version 4.6. I bet it's going to have a lot of good backstory. I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm oh, after for they've sure. experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, 
the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlecchino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. What? So hopefully this mode will help travelers That's have a better amazing. story experience. That's you amazing. Know? I've actually nice. ran That's into right. that issue a lot. And in the future, That's this great. function will become available for more and more Wow, that's a really Besides nice quality life quest, update. I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover awesome. lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. Wow. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks Love about the other that. Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue. Oh, this yeah. is what I've been most excited for. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. <laughs> I can't promise you'll like what you see. Oh my gosh. Transfixed. Okay, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Is she... Is she... <gasps> it is. It's a scythe. It's a scythe. It looks like a scythe. It looks a whole lot like a scythe. Guys, I have been begging for a scythe for the longest time. This is the closest thing we've got. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, give me more. I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does a ballerina is so of death. I know, right? Yes. All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlecchino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk about the Bond of Life mechanic. Okay, uh, I, you might have been a I'm victim curious about to it this. While you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Does anyone still remember what a Bond of Life is? No. Yo, wait, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's listen to what she has to say. That is so a sight. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. I'm still a little confused. When Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to yeah, deal need to more watch damage this, like, three and more times, reduce fully the remaining understand. cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're yeah. saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, okay. yes. Whoa, whoa, that whoa, was a good wait way to a summarize second. It. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, oh. which will damage them periodically. Oh, that's and nice. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry. Interesting. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Good question. Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Mm. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect <gasps> for scaring your enemies. She can fly. Yeah. The one-winged angel. Serious Set pressure on them. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. Everything is Final <laughs> Fantasy these days. What? 
Uh huh. One oh, wing. It's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh my Let's god! Gosh. All right. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, our okay, Kino, her and Linny. That makes sense. And Linny honestly, will both enjoy a drop. That makes boost. a lot of sense. The all I'm a little bummed. The five-star polearm crimson moon a little bummed because I'm going for a weapon and I already have Linny. Also, the one of the few characters is the weapon I have. So be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Oh my Maybe gosh, I'll that's just so have amazing. C, C2. Okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? Okay, the second, <gasps> Actually, honestly, this is a big skip Let's for me. Discuss but the new I feel like that's kind of a boss. skip anyway. Oh that's right. We were just wow, talking about how the so Nave cool shows here. different faces what to an her amazing family members splash art. and to outsiders. But in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> That's right. I mean, are you, you ready to see to just suddenly a new be like name? super yes, ready? I am ready. He's Yay. definitely giving villain vibes for a bit. Wow, that weapon is insane. I need it. I desperately need it. Oh my gosh. I'm desperate. I am desperate. Gosh, she's insane. I need her. Oh my gosh! Dude, that is so cool. She's got so many cool like villain elements to her, but I don't think she's gonna be fully evil. Like I think she'll be on our side after this. She's gonna be like Tartaglia. Not that he's like on our side, but like we're good, you know? We're pals. Wow. Wow. The music Not too. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the Knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so <laughs> yes. Ooh, it feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey. It's not so simple to see the name's Zito's other just, side. She'll you know, appear normally at first, as if she were Zito. giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate wow. range. Wow. Yeah. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, it'd be kind of cool to play her to take with the a team of like even Linny, if their opponent Lynette, is their own Fremine, and Traveler. The outside world will not That'd show her like children kind of mercy, cool so neither can she. Oh my gosh, to be that's what they're using. To them. I'm if an idiot. you do not That's repay literally the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. I thought but that was an original if thought. If you manage Sorry, to guys. outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ooh. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? Dude, that's what I <laughs> yes, said. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. <laughs> it's kind of creepy being Dude, the hunted the wings one for are once. So cool. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Hmm? Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce Domain That's bosses. That's nice! Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or oh, higher, so they'll be nice. able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, Great quality going to the of life Domains tab, here. selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow. Oh, that's nice. cool. That's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Ooh. Two new artifact sets will become available oh. in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned I'm for more information. I'm curious if Arlequino cool. will use oh, you're either finished. of those. Oh, okay. Wait, how come your update was <laughs> so people short? Be able it wasn't to enough for me. Her. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay. I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City oh, yeah. will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, <gasps> Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Sino hey, is getting a part that? two? 
this picture is right there. Oh, what? Oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, so two I wanted story to investigate quests. personally Sheesh. because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery Who is will this? make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's what? friends are not just free. That was such a cool design. For food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, <gasps> and Kabe will I'll all come them. to support him when he's in a pinch. Thank you. So yeah, thank if you, you. Want to know it's more been about too what long. In this case, then be sure I to check out Sino's second story quest. Lupus Arius Act oh, Two. Oh, I'm Travelers so excited to see all of them again. The secrets lurking underneath the sands, in due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God! Wait, so wait, much. Wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented. Too much information, too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of it, please? Oh, please. Oh, please. Damon. You can't keep getting away I with this. Go. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> all right, guys, first redemption code is up. Um, these are only good through like 10.30 or so tonight, so make sure that you redeem them today. Um, wow, let's, let's decompress a bit, let's talk. I'm very excited for the story quest. We're getting two and not just one, which is cool. Um, and they both look really good. I'm excited to see, um, the new character. What a cool design. I loved, uh, his hair. And I'm also really excited for Arlequino. I will say, I think for new players, Arlequino is going to like feel like a lot. Like it seems like her kit is very challenging. And I think a lot of the Fontaine characters have had more of a challenging kit to them where they've lost HP and then regain it through other means. Um, I think that that's, you know, nice. We're like developing the game in new creative ways. I think Arlequino is going to be a solo killer out there, um, but a challenge. Hey, welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've and thank you all so much for being here. Anyone who's come in um, after the, the live stream started. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, yeah. which you saw in the beginning of the program? So new underwater like area. Very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. Petricor. <sighs> Though. Well, that looks there pretty. Be much to see on such a small island. Oh, it's an well, island. That's fun. I yeah, uh, guess this is this is where I'm supposed to I like really when they increase the world say, map. Totally. Feels good. Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's Wait, a neat trick. Wait, was there a cat? <clears throat> was there a cat anyway, floating next to This is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to what? see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. There was a cat! Oh my and a dog! Gosh, that's amazing! Dude, they're giving us so much cat, cat content. I'm here for it. <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get so it. You're so not getting <laughs> it. Don't get that's okay. I am I Ito. In a few words, so you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but that you'll like arrive a really at the Remoria quest. ruins with Good the world cat. Quest. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. Very you'll pretty too, that whale in the, in the, in the middle <gasps> that looks <gasps> super <gasps> dope. Is it like so a spirit you'll be able or is to it obtain trap? powers relating to the symphony, we'll never which know. will help you explore Until the lost realm out. of Remoria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. 
Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess oh, yeah, of this the boss faded castle, cool. silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> great. That was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, uh -huh. real quick, quick question. Yeah. Yay, How do you even Damon. Get to such a remote little island. That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Oh, nice. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. Oh, that's I great. I that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh. So it is a nice feature. So cool. It's pretty all right, easy. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine This is so Fontaine cute. It looks like the city and in now, the Disney outside movie Outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like, like a new Italy. style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> all right, let's all Ido's take a short in? break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. I feel like that pacing. Right. Little weird, because we just had the redemption code, and now we have another one. But anyway, use this today, guys. Um, okay, I feel like I'm excited for the place underwater. I think it'll be a fun, like, lore quest, and I think like the people who play in Kanamiya and like it are gonna love this too. Um, I it's gonna sound bad, but I sometimes feel like a lot of the underwater areas all look the same. Um, this one, may, it may apply, it may not apply. I'll have to see more, but I am excited for it. I think the things I'm most excited for so far are the two-story quests, and I'm curious to see, like, what events will be coming up. I think that that'll be really fun as well. Um, and the cat's pretty cool. The cat with the world quest is gonna be fun. Um, I saw... <laughs> Huskers like where are my dogs at where are the dogs at Hoya? We need dogs where there's only cat love here. We need dogs dog representation Um, but yeah, I I also like the idea of more sequel story quests. I think this will Welcome be a good Welcome back patch. everyone. Hey. Oh my gosh okay, Let's I go wait. Oh my gosh. Is this a rhythm game? Is this gonna be a rhythm game? Is none Stop. other than Arataki Ito himself. Oh my gosh, please <laughs> tell me it's a Max, rhythm game I would like to tell us it. more about it it would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. Please, so I got a game. question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Marco yeah. Dimitri and Shinyan performed there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized oh, by none other fun. than Ito and Dvorak. Oh. oh my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent Arataki rocking for life toward the force of awesomeness really gives off a feeling of rock and roll. It does. Yeah. It truly does. And the theme of this concert is about life, specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. We are so divorced back. That's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Oh, yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive Please news for you. Please let it be better Dvorak than Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called okay. the Nightwind <gasps> Horn. Nice. Ooh. So oh, it's like a liar, but a French horn life, style. Or, oh, this is great. Especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check Can't it out. Can't wait to Rickroll everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Oh my gosh, it's a rhythm game! It is a rhythm you can game! practice getting into the flow with some oh rhythm gosh. games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those I'm keys so look really happy. unique. Yeah, they this really is are. All I and the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that this three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rockin' music festival without a rockin' venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a oh piece my of cake, gosh. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting I'm of so melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. 
After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music. Oh, notes. this will be so oh, cool. So we'll be able to hear them sing. I love that music. is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit Play of Mary music, Show awesome Girl. Sunny Nazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> oh, hold up, hold up, Mondstadt. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say wind trace, <gasps> seekers and Shut strategy up. has finally arrived? <laughs> Yes. Shut I up! Wind Trace is back! And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics oh, changes. Oh, I'm yeah? curious yeah, about the changes. Correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help mm. them escape the zone early. But oh, that's if fun. You get sent Kinda to like capture twice, the flag. You're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that yes. does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair Dude, these devices so hard while the also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. Wow. And hunters will either need to prevent yeah, the rebels from like repairing Yeah, it's kind of like Dead by Daylight in that way. Or they can simply eliminate their opponents. Wow. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. Oh, I she cannot gets it. wait. She gets this is going to be the best But the next part is while. even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling is state. is back. What does it mean? It means They're it'll back, give off a baby. light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. Ooh, we Maybe got another event. Dang. Strange. What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends I feel like that's with a, a little pyro sus. Regisfine. Huh? Just kind oh, of an yeah. odd guy. Not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovician. And a jade plume terror shroom. And Love the, name the jade millennial plume pearl shroom. seahorse. Uh, <laughs> you guys heard me the first time. Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned Put from a this trip guy to in Nepal, jail. And he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. This is a, a bit Wait, of Natlon lore, though. We haven't that really gotten much. Back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the Virgin is <laughs> live, sorry. all right? But for now, <laughs> the thing, it's time the for me to introduce the game club. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your this opponent's cool. HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, I have yeah. to say, I've so never really struggled with the Pyro Registine, but it's still cool. Your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar like with our next then? event, Vibro Crystal Application. Oh, this Ooh. one's fine. It seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That means that is so much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. I Basically, love the combat. transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver favorite, crystal fine. determines it's the buff that your most. team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. 
It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramelo Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger you a harmonic that. effect. Saramelo Cruz. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG oh, event for Drowned cards. Temper will be returning in version 4.6. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery there is event, everything so you can more in this easily patch. train up the characters. They've added the extra it all. Boost. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so much, great. Max. You just did an amazing yes. job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. All that. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Last I, redemption. Yes, you agree? I, was well, say, I, I agree. agree. Too. I agree. Too. agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out the. The, the last, last redemption, redemption code! code. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I first want to say, love this splash art. I am so excited for this event. A rhythm event, an event totally around music. I love music, and I was involved in like music and theater and stuff in high school. So I'm so excited for this one. And the rhythm games are hands down my favorite. And you know what's my second favorite? Wind Trace. So this is just perfect. They really added everything into this patch. I think it's gonna be our best one that we've had in a while. And I think it'll probably be the best one for a while until Natlin <laughs> comes out maybe. Except I'm excited for the Dane's Lift quest whenever that happens, hopefully next patch. There's just a lot to be excited for. I think that this is a really, really good one. And uh, I'm excited for Marco Meatball to, uh, to voice uh, Dvorak. Dvor yeah, again, I think I said that right. Yeah, this is the best update. This is such a good one. And yeah, all the characters involved. We're getting Sumeru, we're getting Inazuma. Welcome this back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements <gasps> nice. for different in-game systems. Nice. Ooh. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, I never you can say use this it's feature Serena to put teapot. all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any Sounds missing better, components though, and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. Mm -hmm. so convenient. The avatar the system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar <gasps> friends as what? your profile display. <laughs> Fun. Oh, fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, do oh, we got one for Hiragi Chisato? Thunderbird and Rue uh -huh. uh, and more. Oh, amazing. that's so, so many cute. More. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have uh, also been updated. Its the markers Melusines? will be displayed this on both adorable. the large map and the mini map. The compasses so will also too. include information about different map layers. Sweet. Uh, way more intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Oh, is it? <laughs> Let's go it is time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Oh, yes. <laughs> Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> oh no, y'all. It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. Oh. No! I know, I know. We need uh, so more. I think that means Can't it's be over. For this special program to come to a close. <gasps> oh. It's not so. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh. are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Vin answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay, you've got now. this, you've okay. got this. Okay, uh, okay, I'll make go. it easy and just, um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for Arlequina. You and everyone else, um, we're hyped. We did, we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's 
all I'm gonna say right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to the talk about this without spoiling anything, awesome. but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So Wow, um, that's oh high praise. That's, that's amazing. Fun. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, yes I am. Yeah. Yay. Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad I got to be here with you guys. This was such guys. a great time. So thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. Wow. That was awesome. I am so excited. That I think... I've said it, I've said it a million times, I think that's going to be one of the best patches they've come out with in a super long time. Wow. Um, I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm mostly excited for Arlequino. I'm pulling for her and her weapon. I'm hyped for the story quests, and I'm hyped for the rhythm games. This is literally going to be one of my favorite patches, I think, in Genshin, so... Uh, feel free to leave a comment letting me know what you are most excited for in the upcoming uh, update. And uh, I, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye!